project with Petro. It is an awful rainy Memorial Day weekend. Let me spin you around see if you can see this. It is like 42 degrees, absolutely raining. Kids went shopping with my wife and I don't know what to do. So anyway, I got a mess, I gotta clean up. So one of the things I wanna do is I bought this thing for my outboard. This is on the boat project that you've seen. Um, this is just simple uh, tiller control, doesn't have anything else special about it. But I have a fish finder and I wanna be able to tr uh, charge a battery off of it. So I um, bought this little um, regulator, regulator rectifier um, and I'm going to try to hook it up. Um, I cheated and I went on, I went on YouTube and I watched uh, Dang, uh, Danger Marine. Check that guy out. He's got a lot of cool stuff. So I sort of watched him do it. The actual Yamaha part for this was about $75 plus shipping. So it would have been like $80, $85. I found this other aftermarket one on eBay for $23. So I'm hoping <laughs> it'll work. It might be a total waste of money. Um, and then I cobbled together a whole bunch of different electrical parts from Home Depot because I don't have a marine store around here. Um, so we're going to we're gonna mess around and see if we can get this thing to work and to charge the battery or not. But before I do that, I got to clean my workbench. So I'll be back. All right, finally cleaned up here. Let's see what I got going. Oh, garbage. I don't know about you guys, but I can never work without making an absolute total mess. I must clean my workshop, which I need a bigger workshop. I don't know. <laughs> every time, it, it seems like every every week I, I have to do a major cleaning. Um, I got some 14 wire. I got black. I mean red. I got black. I got some snap connectors. I wanted to get the wire together, so I bought some sh heat shrink. All of this came at Home Depot. Took me way too long to find. Um, then I'm dealing with a. Uh, I'm using a lawnmower battery, so I've got these type of connectors, which I hope is going to work. Um, then I've got some stainless steel wing nuts and quarter by twenty. Um, bolts, so, yeah, let's try to make something here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is roughly estimate, well, let's go to the boat. So we'll swing around here, I don't know, okay, let's go to the motor, we'll take that apart first. So this is a sweet little 2008 Yamaha 25 horsepower found this at a steel for this boat tiller nothing fancy about it love this motor starts up really lucky to find it but it has nothing it doesn't have start doesn't have uh any sort of power to it um there's it's set up for power and you can see it's super clean so built in here is a magnet on the flywheel with a connector. Now, built into this, there's no starter, there's no nothing, because it's all pull start, this is where the starter would go. Built into this is these two, see if I can pull it out this way, I don't know how I'm gonna make this nice and neat. These two spare green wires, pretty sweet, right? So then you got this regulator rectifier, which has these two green wires. So I think it's pretty simple. You plug one, these two in, and then you find a mounting place on the motor, and then you have your positive lead, and you have your ground, okay? So now what I'm going to do is create a positive and a ground that's going to run from this motor all the way down to the battery, probably about, I don't know, I'm going to measure now about six feet, and then I'll connect this directly to the battery, and then I'll take the ground, and I'll put the ground on one of these positives here. Um, Again, this the Yamaha part was was seventy five dollars, and this was twenty three dollars. I, I I don't you know I don't know much about it, but we'll we'll see. It might be a bad idea, but I don't didn't really want to get overly complicated or spend a lot of money on this. So we'll see how we work. So 
The first thing I'm going to do is, is find placement for this. There's a bunch of post holes, empty post holes in this motor. Luckily, um, the bolt that came with this sucker um, is exactly the same thread um, as these post holes. So I'm just going to want to find somewhere that can reach these two wires, is not in the way of anything else, um, and just try to find the best placement. And so it looks good too. So my gut wants me to go here, but it doesn't quite sit on that. Maybe it does. I mean, that looks pretty sweet. It could also go up here, but there's nothing else up there and there's a bunch of wires here. So yeah, maybe we'll do that. I'm also gonna put, this came with a lock nut. So I'm gonna put the lock nut on it to keep it because this motor, it's a two stroke. So I just dropped the washer. So, I'll go lock nut, washer, or lock washer, I should say. Um, then I'll go, oh boy, should have been paying attention to how that was in there. Um, seems about right. So these clearly are fins to reduce heat. Um, so that's why I kind of want to have enough space around them so that they can do their job. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. You certainly can't see me, but I, I got the wires over here and this wanted to hang down. This wasn't really short enough. I didn't like it up there. So I th this, if I find this in the down position, um, it seems to work pretty well, but I because of the angle of this and the tightness, I couldn't get it all the way down. So anyway, in my toolbox of miscellaneous things, I found this bushing. I think I'm gonna put it on this bushing, which holds it pretty well. It brings it out a little bit high, um, so it allows me to have that clearance. It gets everything around here. It allows this stuff to really have some room to move around and, and be dry. So I, I think that's pretty good. Now, the only thing i got to double check is that the cover can come on and off. So, let, let's see if that'll work. So, get you back here. Yep, cover goes on and off nicely. It looks nice and clean. I think we'll call that a home. Okay. Let me tighten this up, and then I'll start messing with the wires. All right. Just to recap, this is what we're doing. I got this on here, I got the bushing that I found, the washer, and then a uh, lock washer. And I'm just gonna, I don't wanna go crazy because I'm famous for breaking things. I just wanna get that tight, and, and it's good. I feel that's pretty good. Now I gotta get this on, this is the ground. These are the two additional leads. So I pull this rubber protector up and I plugged into here and plugged into there. Um, this is two solid greens, and this is a green and a green with a white stripe. You know, I, this is, nothing else hooks up to this, just hooks to the battery. It's, and it's a flywheel, and I, what I know about electricity is that you just, continuous loop, right? So, um, and this is, uh, this is DC for a battery, so it doesn't have a negative, it has a ground, so I don't think we can mess this up. So, Seven sixteenths. So, no, I don't. What? Ah! Oh, what a pain in the butt. It's metric, of course. There it is. Yamaha, metric. I'm a dope. Okay. Cool deal. So, I'm actually, even though I should tighten this down, I'm not going to do this just yet because I got to make another ground that's going to the batteries. Okay, so what you guys are, aren't able to see too well here is I'm gonna bring this through the cowling. I'm gonna make an opening, um, got some spare holes there. Then I'm gonna run it through here, okay? Down into there. I kinda got a mess going here. I'm gonna have to clean this up. And then I don't know if you guys can see that. That's where the gas tank is. Um, and then down in that corner is where that little battery is, so. It seems kind of excessive, but I think I need it to be eight feet. Um, 
Probably six feet. I don't know. I just, I don't want to make it too short. So my, my, let's see what I got going here for, for tools. So, for, all right, you can, this is what I'm dealing with. So it's a cheap, cheapest could be 20 something dollar Walmart battery. It's all I really need. Um, and it doesn't have any posts. So I had to come up with a way, all, all of this stuff I ended up finding at Home Depot. So I'm experimenting for it here. So I needed to come up a way to connect this have the wire in it and my fish finder we actually set it up on alligator clips so we don't need any wires there so I, I think these will work these copper deals so how do I want to do this I want this to not be in the way I kind of like it like that that looks nice I got a wing nut because I figured I was going to want to take this off maybe I don't know Sounded like a good idea at the store. In the winter, I typically take all this stuff apart and braid it inside because our winters are so long. And I think that looks pretty good. So now, what I think I'm going to do is the positive will just go like that. Oh, obviously strip the wire but this will go like this boom pretty simple and then I'll do the same thing with the positive and that's going to be my lead so let me undo this and I'm going to measure 8 feet onto this wire before I cut it so there's one heat shrink here. I hope this is big enough. It's actually kind of psych that uh, Home Depot had this. I was hoping to get the wire all together, but they didn't have anything. They had they had um, landscaping wire that could have worked, but the landscaping wire is solid copper, and this is, uh, um, you know, it's got uh, stranded copper, or I don't know what you call it, but um, I just... Anything I've done like this on cars and stuff like that. I wish I actually got training on this stuff. But anything I've done, it's always been, um, it's always been strand versus the solid. And so I just figured, I just figured that it might be better if I matched what was, it's matching the same, all I'm doing is matching the same wire that's on the, uh, on the regulator so anyway let me get this you get the idea here i'm gonna put this uh heat shrink on there go all the way down the uh, seven feet that i did and i'm gonna shrink it up and then we'll put some connectors i'll be back when i put the connectors on all right we're finally back where we started from so let me figure out which end is the best end here we'll make this one I'll make this one the battery end. This is 14 gauge, so we'll pull this here. Actually, let me, I've been squeezing and plugging at these. Let me just clip this a little bit so I get a nice clean end. Now I'm going to end up cutting my heat shrink that I took forever to pull. Okay, here's one. There's two. Twist this, twist this. Let's uh, cut this a little bit. Okay. This is the positive. All right, so that'll work. I'm not going to do that until we get to the... To there. All right. Get the heat shrink cut. I'll do a little bit of a 
tapey tape, clean it up a little bit. I'm just trying to make this look a little neater. this that's a beautiful thing all right twist that now this far end I'm going to take these connectors I believe let's go back to the all right one is going to have a loop that I have to find and the positive is going to have the female connector okay this is the part that's going to go into the rectifier okay okay so if we flip over to the boat again if I can get real close there. That's where this one goes. That's the red to the red. I wish it was a little bit prettier, but it's not. Okay, see that? That works. Shrink tube I had to hook this up didn't work, so I'm gonna use electrical tape. It's all connected. It's, uh, it's put together and everything the way it should be, so it's not the end of the world, but, uh, you know. Whenever I like to do things, I like when it looks like that, not like that. So, it is what it is. So anyway, let's put this ring connector on, and we'll get moving. Alright. This is just a ground, too, so it's not that big of a deal. Get this on. Actually, I don't need... Do I need that much? Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. I got the better... I got the better, better uh, connectors, too, so... Let's crush that. Okay. There she goes. Alright. Now... Put all our grounds together again. Got this ground, got that ground, and the ground that the new ground. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to see. The new ground that came off the rectifier. It's a funny word. It sounds all fancy when I say rectifier. All right. There we go. Let's make sure there's room for all of those guys. I think I like it this way better. Tighten down the grounds. All right, let's see how this goes. So, we got everything we needed all put together. Now we're gonna fish this through the cowling and let me see how I wanna make, where I'm gonna make this come out of here. Let's see if you guys can see it on this side. Underneath the fuel line, let's take that off there's this little blank space. So I think I'm gonna push it out of that. There's another one over here too, so I'll figure out which one I want. I think this one looks pretty good. 
I don't know. Well, do I want it near the gas? You see what I'm talking about? I always get kind of stuck in where I'm going to run these things. It's a wire. Is it that big of a deal? I got wires coming out of here. Why is it such a hard thing? But then it'll be around the choke, which is kind of annoying. Maybe I'll put it in this one. Yeah, I'll put a hole in this one. This is kind of soft and rubbery, so that's what I'll do. All right, we'll be back. I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's best angle. I'm missing Luke here. So I've got my wire that we struggled with to get that cable on. So I'm going to push that through if I can get it. You see that? Actually, how do I want to do this? I want to make sure I don't struggle with it. I've got wires over here. I like it for me. I like the idea of going under everything else. So what, what I'm trying to do is put this wire underneath everything so it doesn't get stuck on anything. <laughs> came out a hole I didn't want to come out of. There we go. You see that? Okay, just trying to pull this through here. I'm going to place that. <laughs> it's just no place to put your fingers. All right, there we go. Now, what I'm doing is feeding this wire that I made. Down below. In the cowling. Never going to see it. Doesn't hit this. that'll work okay I don't know if you guys can see that but you see this now <laughs> we'll see if I can do this trick this is the extra rubber bushing so I'm gonna pull that through here that looks pretty cool almost looks like I was trying to do what I there we go Some extra there. All right, you see that? I'm gonna try to move the camera here. Maybe you guys can see that. See that? That looks pretty slick. That's just an extra spare rubber bushing thing. Oh, he went into the ceiling. Where are you going? All right, you see that? That's pretty cool. I think that'll work. All right, let's get to. All right, I'm trying to get you guys in the right position. I think I made another mistake here. Oh, this is so frustrating. So, I don't know if you can see this, but this is my wire. Remember I said I needed 8 feet? Well, I made it 7 feet, because I was struggling with the heat shrink wire. And it's going to be close. <laughs> so, we got this guy, right? So here's the wire that comes out. This has to be bottomed out there. So we're gonna chase this down this hole. All right, you see this? So it runs along the motor. That's the wire I put in. Running all the way down there, all the way down here, down into this hole. And then if I did this right, it should be enough length to go into this tiny little hole can you see that sorry where my battery is which is right here in this little spot now that looks like it reaches but <laughs> there's not enough room to turn the motor all the way around well there is but i wanted to cinch these all up that look it's actually not as bad as I thought. So I've got the wires here. I'm gonna show you there. That's the battery. As you can see, that's why it was a little bit tight. So I've, I've got this small little battery. These are the wires for the, um, 
fish finder. This is obviously the, the setup that I've got going. It comes out through here. I've actually was able to clip it together a little bit with some zip ties. I would have liked a loop here, but I, you know what? I think it'll be okay. All right, guys, I think we finally have this. So just to give you an overview, I've got the rectifier there plugged in. We've got it grounded. Got the wires inside the cowling. Got it coming out of here. See that little, put it through that little dead space. Got the wire running. I don't like how this is cleaned up. Wire's a little too short for my liking. I'll work on that. And here we are um, where it hooks up into the battery. And you'll see I've got how I've got this connector, which uh, has a set screw here. And I've got this coming into here. So I think that'll work nice. My, like I said, my fish finder is actually alligator clips. So that'll work out just fine. Now this meter is kind of hard to read, but what we're gonna do is start the motor up. See if I can do this with one arm here, and then we'll see if we're getting some power out of this thing. Okay. So, now, if I do this, I'm gonna try to, you see we got some power here. Ah! This is gonna be hard to hold this at the same time and do the throttle. So can you see that on there? So, okay. sorry about that. I got that clipped on there, so now we got power. But, so if I show you that if I throttle up, you're gonna see that needle move up. Can you see that? The needle moving up and down? There it goes. So, We do have success. So it works, it charges the battery. I wish it was a little bit cleaner. I wish it didn't take me all afternoon to set this up, but you see it was a successful project with Petro. Maybe next time we'll do it a little bit cleaner, but you'll probably have fun watching me fight myself here. So we'll see you next time.